On July 20th, 2024, the first reports came in of people mysteriously dying in direct sunlight. Within hours, panic spread globally as humans realized our life-giving sun had become our greatest threat. But what if a group of passengers found themselves on a trans-Pacific flight as this crisis unfolded? In this video, we're going to explore what might happen if the sun started killing humans, focusing on the passengers of Flight 714 from Los Angeles to Tokyo. First, let's look at how events might unfold. As Flight 714 took off at 11.50 p.m. on July 19th, passengers had no idea of the chaos about to erupt. Halfway across the Pacific, the pilot receives an urgent message. Do not land. Sun is lethal. Confusion spreads through the cabin as the crew struggles to verify this seemingly impossible claim. But what would happen next? The pilot would face an unprecedented dilemma. With fuel for only a few more hours, they'd need to make a critical decision, risk landing or keep flying into the night. If they choose to keep flying, they'd need to constantly chase the darkness, heading west to stay ahead of the dawn. This would create a race against time, fuel and the rising sun. Now let's consider the challenges they'd face. First, fuel would be a major concern. Commercial planes typically carry just enough fuel for their intended route, plus reserves. The crew would need to quickly calculate how long they could stay airborne and plot a course to maximize their time in darkness. They might consider landing at remote Pacific islands, but the risk of exposure during descent could be fatal. Communication would be another crucial factor. As panic spreads globally, air traffic control systems might become overwhelmed or abandoned. The passengers and crew would be largely on their own, relying on patchy information from ground sources to navigate this crisis. Inside the plane, a microcosm of society would form. How would people react to this existential threat? Some might panic, demanding to be let off the plane. Others might band together, pooling knowledge and resources to plan their survival. The plane would become a sanctuary, but also a potential prison. As food and water supplies dwindle, tensions would rise. The crew would need to maintain order and ration supplies carefully. But what about the long-term outlook? If the sun's lethal effects persist, humanity would face an extinction-level event. The passengers of Flight 714 might be among the last survivors, but for how long? They'd need to consider extreme measures, like attempting to reach polar regions where months-long darkness could buy them time. Or they might search for underground facilities where they could shelter. This scenario raises profound questions. How long could they survive in the air? What difficult choices would they have to make? And ultimately, is there any hope for humanity in a world where daylight means death? It's a chilling thought, but one that highlights our reliance on the very star that gives us life. Let's just hope we never have to face such a terrifying scenario in reality. But that sounds like a story for another what if. 